Have you ever wondered why some people love their job and other people not so much? Well, there's actually a reason behind this, and you might be surprised as to what the answer is. So make sure that you stay tuned. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yes, today we're gonna be talking about how to love your job. Like, work is something that we have to do. Like, this is undeniable. We're finding that as time goes on, we're spending more and more and more time at work. More of us are going into work early or staying later, or due to technology, we're being more available. They said that the average time that the person answers their first email is at about seven o'clock in the morning, and they don't stop working until about seven or eight at night because of the fact that they're still answering emails or talking to people about work or from work. So this is why it's so important to make sure that you actually love what you're doing. And there's actually some really interesting science that shows us how you can actually love what you do. So first, let me introduce you to Amy Wierzynski. She is the professor of organizational behavior at the Yale School of Management. So she breaks people down into three different categories of how they view what their job actually is. And based on these three categories, we can find out who's actually happy with what they're doing. So category number one is a job, okay? When you view what you're doing for work as just a job, you're basically just enduring it to make some kind of salary. Number two is a career. When you view your work as a career, this is just something that you're doing to establish some type of prestige or position within society. Number three, this is the happiest group of all. These are people that see their work as a calling. This is something that gives them fulfillment and meaning in their lives. So these people are naturally happier at their job. So if any of you have ever watched my other video, which I will link in the info card, which is talking about how success does not equal happiness. And it's entirely based off of this. We actually have studies that prove this to us, okay? People who view their work as a calling are much happier, which leads to later success. So Amy Wierzynski has done tons and tons and tons of studies to find out kind of what people think and who's happy at their jobs and all sorts of things, right? So one of the questions that she asked people is, what type of jobs do you think people would be the least happy at? So go ahead and ask yourself. Don't worry, I'll give you a second. All right, most people, they're gonna think of things like janitor, fast food worker, toll booth operator. You would assume that these people are naturally unhappy at their job. Well, they surveyed people from jobs all across the board, all across the board from people from doctors and lawyers from corporate America down to actually janitors and fast food workers and all these things. And approximately one third of people from all different industries, they are equally as happy or unhappy at their jobs. So what they had to do was dig in deeper. And that's how Amy Borzynski started classifying these people into three different categories. So just for the sake of this video, let's just give an example of you going to the grocery store, all right? And you are looking at three different checkout lanes, right? Three different baggers, three different checkout lanes. The first person is there and they look at this as a job. They're just going through the motions, just groceries, bag, groceries, bag, right? The next person, they view this as a career. So they might be a little more meticulous and efficient at what they're doing. They're bagging maybe quickly, or you know, they make sure that the eggs aren't on the bottom or the bread so it doesn't get crushed, right? But then there's a third person, the third person who's a bagger at the grocery store, and they see this as a calling. And what they're doing is you see a huge smile on their face. They're brightening up all the customers' days. They're helping out the, the cashier at the register. Uh, maybe they even tell a funny joke or they, they give the person checking out in line a compliment, right? So this person who sees it as a calling, like obviously in most cases, the person who's working as the bagger at the grocery store, they don't see this, this current job that they're in or this title that they're in as the thing that they wanna do for the rest of their lives, but they're finding meaning in the littlest job that they're actually doing. And this calling, that fulfillment, that meaning they have, it's making somebody's day brighter or it can be even helping out their fellow employees. This is somebody who is naturally going to succeed because they see whatever job they're doing as a calling. 
So how does this relate to you? All right, let's talk about the solution because that's what we do here at The Rewired Soul. So there's a couple different things that you can do to start changing your job from just a normal job or a career into a calling so you can find more fulfillment and meaning in the job that you're currently at. So the first one is we all have unique talents and abilities. We have things that make us special. There's some people who are more creative. There's some people who are better with numbers. There's some people who are good at problem solving. Something that you can do is every day when you go to work, do at least one thing, at least one thing that showcases something that you are really good at, all right? Get creative with it. I guarantee you can find something that helps exemplify a skill that you already have. The next one is finding fulfillment and meaning in your job by realizing how it is making someone's life better or even this world a better place. So for example, and I know not all of you do what I do, but I work at a drug and alcohol rehab center and I get to work with people every single day. I get to help them with their mental illness, get to help them overcome addiction. This is something where I, I immediately see those results, right? I see the person and see who I'm helping. But let's think that maybe you are a receptionist, okay? What can you do to make this world a little bit better of a place? Maybe it's wearing a smile, complimenting people who are coming in, telling them a funny joke, whatever it is. Let's say you work at a cell phone store. What if you started looking at it as you are selling people devices that is going to help them stay connected to friends and family all over the country and even sometimes the world? Let's say you're a waiter or a waitress. How about the fact that you're playing a small role in treating some people or a family to a nice night out in a place where they get to connect. You see what I mean? You gotta start looking at what you're doing for work and see how it's actually benefiting people. When you start doing that, you're gonna start to view your job as a calling, which will naturally start making you a little bit happier to go into work, all right? So do me a favor. I gave you the three different categories, job, career, and calling. Let me hear from you down in the comments below. Let me know what you do for work and how you view what you do. Is it a job, a career, or a calling, all right? But anyways, I hope this video helped you out, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure that you click that little subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. And if you'd like, click or tap on one of the thumbnails right there. Check out some other videos on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. Go find your calling, and I'll see you next time.